So after you have identified who the role owners are going to be, you have to designate them as owners in access control. So how do we do that? Um, go back and now we do that in NWBC. So let's close these, what we have, and start from the beginning, okay? All right, so execute the transaction in WBC. And then go to NWBC. Go to access management. And scroll down. No, you know that setup, we go to setup. And go to access control owners. All right. Now click on create. And let's go and search. Okay, so if you search, depending on, you know, who, what kind of ownership roles are assigned, right? For example, EM owner will have the EM role assigned, owner role assigned to them. Okay, that's why you see this here. So we have, see, we created OTC, PTP, uh, FI owner, and then we also created alternative, right? Alternative role owners. So sec owner, this is what we did. So let us go and let's go from top to bottom, okay? So alt owner and these are all who? These are all role owners, right? So select the owner and then you select this checkbox against the role owner. Be very careful, you have the risk owner, you have the role owner. And if you scroll down, you'll have other role owners also. So, you know, other ownerships also. So, pick role owner. And if you want to give a comment saying alternate, or, or your secondary role owner, or, or what is this? FI roles. FI, right? FI roles. You can give a comment, but this is an optional uh, field. You don't really have to enter a comment here. And just for your purposes, for make it easy, you can do this, right? Now close this, and you'll see it's here. Okay, so depending on what description you've given that just tab in SU01, you see that here. Click on create. Uh, Owner, select the owner barrier button, okay? And then let's go to the next one, so OTC. Same, say alternate. I can take this and just simply make it OTC here, just to make it save some little bit time. Let's save, did I save? Click on close, so that's one centered here. Click on create to add the next one. Owner, select, say go. See, if you don't want to go for, if it's a huge list, you know it's better if you find the role, the user ID, okay? So, okay. So what is this? This is PTP rules, right? So let's go and say PTP rules. Save it. Close. Create.
Okay, basically what you could do is because we gave the description here, I can copy paste it, right? Just to save some a little bit more time. Okay, close. So as and when you create a row owner, you get this uh, this up list updated, and it will tell you who created it. Updated by who? Okay. So let's go and create the next one. And let's go and do this. Okay. I'm going to copy this. Okay, so this user ID, like I said, right? All these user IDs will be used in the role as, as a role attribute. Okay, and it will also be in BRM, okay? And it will also be used during uh, MSMP or user provisioning. Okay, so do that and then say save, close. So, so it's like this, you can go and uh, you know, assign, create other user roles also, now owners also. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to do it and then show you the list. Okay, so I created the, you know, the role owners here, FI, PTP, OTC, right? And then if you scroll down somewhere, you also have security here, yeah. four, and then you have four alternate uh, role owners. So, so this is how you assign or designate uh, no, role owners in uh, access control. And after this is done, right, it is possible to configure these as role owners, okay? So when you create the roles, um, you know, you can assign these people as role owners and alternative role owners. Okay, we'll see when we create the roles.